Hello again. Uh, Nick here with the Basalt Fiber Volcanic Rock products. Another thing we make are these. These are basalt chopped fibers for concrete making. The reason to use them is because basalt is rock. It, uh, that rock made into those fibers expands and contracts at the same rate as concrete, unlike other fibers. Uh, it handles aggressive chemicals and liquids and acids and salts far better than fiberglass. Uh, basalt doesn't corrode and it's going to increase your tensile strength, your compressive strength. Uh, mostly it's gonna stop your concrete from shrinking and cracking and all concretes, even really well done ones, mostly will have some cracking in them. And a lot of times you're putting an expansion joints in to help that, but you're still getting cracking. So if you really want a nice job, the price, the price increase of adding about eight pounds per yard of these chop fibers will help to assure that you're not gonna have that cracking and later spalling, large popping of concrete. Um, we make other things as, as well from the basalt fibers, like ropes, um, we have braided sleeving. You take a Chinese finger type sleeve and it is meant to go around pipes and uh, exhaust and uh, spark plugs or anything you want to wrap to encase with a fireproofing and insulating protective material and it comes in many meters long rolls large sizes small finger sizes um, basically everything um, we've got a whole host of uh, products that are made we compress those fibers into a board see this little thin board fireproofing inserts electrical panels anything again that you want to um, insulate and fireproof um, basalt fabrics are made just like carbon fiber fiberglass kevlar we have plain weaves and twill weaves unidirectional biaxials satin weaves triaxial, quadaxial, just like you'd have with any fiberglass or carbon fiber, only three or four, five times less than carbon fiber, but non-conductive and far better impact properties. Uh, if you take similar size panels of something like this, make that out of fiberglass or carbon fiber or even Kevlar, and smash that with a hammer, the hammer will go right through it. It'll bounce off the basalt. The impact properties of basalt is where it shines. Um, ski people put it in for its flexural modulus. It's not as stiff as carbon, and it's not as soft as fiberglass. So it's right in that sweet spot in, in between the two. So you get that bounce. Snowboards, skateboards, skis, paddle boards, you name it. It's, all, it's got that flexural response without being too stiff and not too soft. Um, incre again, incredibly, incredibly strong, long lasting, durable, and it can come out that golden color if you use the right resins with it. It's a beautiful, um, it's a beautiful golden color. I don't know if you can see that in there, but the salt is uh, a really good looking fabric. We have um, panels uh, that are coated that can be completely waterproof and insulating, durable, fireproof. We've added things with aerogels in them. We've added uh, waterproofing agents, all kinds of dur very incredibly durable coating materials that take the fiber to a whole other level.